Okay, so start by introducing yourself and the role that you are playing. Okay, uh, hi, my name is Catherine Gilmer. I'll be playing Tobias Rag in our production of Sweeney Todd. Okay, must describe Tobias to us, please, Catherine. Oh, he is a precious little cinnamon roll who is too yes. good for this world. Yes. Um, Toby is by far the most innocent character in the show, certainly that I've ever played. He is the one who arguably is hardest done by and deserves it the least. Mm. Um, Ouch. You know, the, the show itself is about love and all the terrible ways that it can twist and be perverted. And Toby is not exempt from that. Um, all he wants is to love and be loved, and we see what he gets for that. Wow. Okay, well, on that note, <laughs> what do you enjoy about being in Sweeney Todd and uh, playing Tobias? Tobias is just so far removed from any other character I've ever played, but in some ways he's a little bit closer to me, wow. uh, a little bit. Um, I'm a little bit of an introvert and a lot of bit of an introvert, um, and Tobias <laughs> is similar, except that when he is performing, he's comfortable. Ah. Uh, that's his comfort zone, so yes. he is a lot more outgoing, a lot more willing to interact, and that's sort of what I do when I act. You know, I'm a, you know, sit by myself, and I'm very quiet, but then I get on stage, and it's like, hi, how are you? Excellent. Um, so yeah, there's a, there's a little bit of extra me in Toby than some of the other characters. Well, that's like. wonderful. Um, so what is the challenge of presenting a show like Sweeney Todd, um, either for you or just presenting the show in general? Well, for me, certainly, it is it is the most complicated uh, show I've ever been a part of with, with all the music. There's not as much dialogue, thank goodness, because there's just so much music. Right, exactly. But, I mean, the, the, the problems with doing it for us is there's only a few of us. You know, we have to be big with you. So, yes. uh, you know, we're all having to be bigger than ourselves. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so what then uh, sort of challenges translate over into um, the, the area of the community? And what do you think a show like Sweeney Todd has to offer um, the community such as it is in Birmingham, Alabama? Well, I think it is certainly it is so very different from most of the offerings at, at a lot of our local community theaters that I've seen myself. As I said, it's, it's a story about love, but it's love gone wrong and all the ways it can go wrong. You know, you don't really have your happy ending at the end. And sometimes we need to have that sort of a challenge. We need to see that sometimes you have to take the dark with the light. Mm. I mean, they're gonna come in, you're gonna have a great time, but you're going to think about some things when, when we're done. Absolutely. I could not agree more. So how, uh, you've sort of talked about it already, but um, what are some other roles that you've enjoyed performing and how do those roles sort of tie into Tobias specifically? Well, Tobias, he is, ju he's just such an innocent little sunflower. Um, <laughs> sunflower uh, cinnamon roll. I love <laughs> him. That's tasty. I love him. Uh, and I usually play the bad guy. I'm ah. sort of the opposite of some of my other cast members who are playing the bad guy for the first time. I usually play the bad guy. I've played the Wicked Queen. I've played Fanny Dashwood in Sense and Sensibility. Oh, yes. Uh, I have played Ebenezer Scrooge. Um, so it's a little bit of a stretch to go to a nice, innocent, happy place, but <laughs> I do have a nice contrast for what that is supposed to be. Excellent. Absolutely. And you're definitely delivering with that. So, um, before we sign off with you, give us a random fact about yourself. Okay. Um, uh, I, I can, I can do the stitch voice. <laughs> uh, I can, uh, that's something that I can actually show you. So how about, um, Strunna Todd means family. Family means nobody that's left behind or dismembered. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Catherine. That's like probably the best fact so far. I appreciate that. Everybody come see Sweeney Todd on October the 27th and maybe Catherine will or will not be delivering some of her songs in a stitch voice. You will have to show up to find out. Thank you. Thank you so much, Catherine. <laughs>